You are listening to the Mindset School Podcast, episode 46. Hey friends, welcome to the Mindset School Podcast with Peggy Easterling, where we learn to smile authentically from the inside out. Have you ever been on social media and had someone ask such a silly question, a very simple question, and you're like, duh, Google it. And so you Google the answer for them and you respond with the answer that you very quickly found on Google. I think we've all experienced someone asking a question so simple, all they had to do was Google and they can have the answer in an instant right there. It's at their hands. They're asking you on a computer or their phone, and they're accessing a platform to ask the question. And you think, why would they ask that question when they could just Google it? Right? Google has us trained to ask them for the answer. And now with the introduction of ChatGPT and all of this AI technology that is compiling all of this information and giving it back to us in a systematic, concise way, why would we not want to use that information for our benefit? Why would you not Google it, right? Well, the same things with AI. Why would you not use it? People are using AI technology now and chat GPT and some others are becoming a way for us to, as content creators, as coaches, as community builders, as course creators in the corporate space, in so many different areas, chat GPT has become something that people use in order to create content. In order to write papers and write books, students and educators alike are using ChatGPT to make the learning process smoother and more efficient. Researchers are using ChatGPT to collect data, to summarize, to brainstorm and research ideas. Language learners are using ChatGPT in order to learn vocabulary and understand grammar. And all of that is great, every bit of it. But I think in today's age, some of us, especially Christian entrepreneurs, we look for the answer on Google or we look for the answer from ChatGPT for our business, for our future, for our life. We go to these sources more than we go to God. We give more space to these voices in our life before we listen to God. Have you, Christian entrepreneur, have you asked God, what is the next step for your business? Have you slowed down to ask him what he wants the next chapter of your book to say? Have you prayed and asked him what your next conversation with your client should go like? I love these resources. You know, I, <laughs> I'm i old. I'm older than the internet. Oh, that sounds terrible. Y'all. Thank God for hair dye and good lighting. Let's just say (laughs) that I am not getting any younger. And I do remember times when I would have to go back to the library and check out encyclopedias for information. I remember doing a research paper in high school with encyclopedias. 
Who remembers microfish? That electronic weird thing where you got the light and you got this little thing and you looked on this machine and you had to wait your turn because when we went to the library and we're all doing the research paper, we were all doing it at the same time. And there were only a couple of those machines, yet we all had to wait our turn and get that done, right? (laughs) I remember those days. And I also remember those card catalogs, pulling out those long drawers and digging through those little cards and then trying to find the book that you needed on the shelf because that's where you got the data. If you wanted facts or information, you had to go get the book from the library physically. The internet was not a thing. The internet has been great for us to improve education and information. But the internet is not, it's not the main source of information that we need for our lives. God is the one that will illuminate the next step. He's given us resources. He's given us data, information that we need in order to survive. If we really want to change our mindset, about our situation in our life and our business, we've got to seek him first. In this digital age, it's very easy to go to Google, get the answer. Go to ChatGPT, get the course. Go to whatever AI tool you're using now and get the outline. Get the better way. Feed it information and tell it to make it better. But if we want to make our lives better and we want to make our businesses better, we've got to slow down in order to speed up. And what that looks like is connecting with God. God, what's that next step that you have for me? When I go to God and I pray, I don't always walk out of my prayer closet, sometimes even after hours with a clear answer. It's not always clear exactly what the path looks like. If I ask ChatGPT right now, where's the best place to go for vacation for someone who's looking for a relaxing vacation, I might get some, in fact, I'm going to do that right now. So I just typed in and I asked ChatGPT, And I said, what is the best place to go if I want to relax on vacation at a U.S. destination? And ChatGPT responded, choosing the best place to relax on vacation in the United States depends on your personal preferences, including the type of environment you find most relaxing, the activities you enjoy, and the climate you prefer. Here are a variety of options, each offering a unique relaxing experience. And it says, number one, beach destinations. And it gave me Maui, Hawaii. It tells me a little about it. Known for its stunning beaches, luxurious resorts. And it says, Key West, Florida. Offers a laid-back vibe with beautiful beaches, charming streets, and slow pace of life. And then it gives me mountain retreats. Aspen, Colorado. Known for its skiing. It gives me spa and wellness resorts. It gives me countryside escapes. Unique getaways. Just saying. If I wanted answers for my life, I can go to chat GPT and I can get some answers. Where's the best place for me to go on vacation? But what if I sat in my prayer closet and I asked God, God, where's the best place for me to go on vacation this year? We can know the voice of God by prayer. We can follow peace. We can read his word. We can sense him speaking to us. He does speak in an audible voice at times. We don't even consider God's voice in our life first. Matthew 6, 33 says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Are you seeking God first? Are you seeking God first? I want to seek God and know that he's going to take care of all of these things. All the things. He's got it. Do I trust him? 
Am I trusting him more than chat GPT, more than technology, more than Google? What did God say? Have you prayed about it? There is so much power in asking God first. What did God say about it? Have you prayed? Some of you have this unease in your spirit. Have you prayed? Have you searched scripture? Have you asked God about it? Have you gone and sought his word and dug into scripture for your business? Have you asked him what's the best way for your business to serve the world? And have Christian character. Have you asked for wisdom on how to resolve a conflict with a client? See, ChatGPT is a good resource. It really is. Don't let technology take the place of going to God first. What does God want for your future? Right now, have you lost your why? Google doesn't have the answer. God does. He always has the answer. He is the answer. One of the things I've experienced while I've been here with you using ChatGPT to interact is as I was typing, it glitched out and it didn't finish its response. And then I asked it for the answer again, and it gave me a completely different answer. They were not the exact same responses. Even though ChatGPT may make this suggestion, it may also make a unique, different suggestion. It's inconsistent in its answers. That is completely the opposite of God. God is never changing. He's always consistent. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. And his word has stood the test of time. The Bible is a resource that has stood through history and been passed down again and again and again. There are so many things in scripture that teach us how to live and teach us practical things that we can apply to our life. Teach us the character that we need to have. Teach us how to look for blessing in our life. Teach us business principles on how to operate in a business and to how to interact with people. Teach us how to love our neighbor as ourself and how to be in relationship. God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And even though whenever I go to my prayer closet, I don't get a list like ChatGPT gives when I go in my prayer closet. And I connect with God. I connect with him in relationship. And he teaches me his character. And he teaches me to slow down. And he teaches me to listen better. And he teaches me his love. And I learn all of those things while sitting with him and slowing down and listening. Listening to the wisdom that he has to offer. Even when... I don't quite understand the answer yet. I don't quite understand exactly what I'm supposed to do in this particular situation quite yet. I know that as I trust him and as I move in the things that he's calling me to and as I take steps in the way that I think that he's leading me, I know that he's going to steer and illuminate my path, the pathway that I'm taking. He's going to show us the right thing to do. 2 Timothy 3, 16 through 17 says, All scripture is God-breathed and useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, training, and righteousness, so that the servant of God may be thoroughly equipped for every good work. I don't know about you, but I want to be equipped for every good work. 
And if I can get that equipping by studying God's word, studying the scripture, and then Psalm 119, 105 says, your word is a lamp for my feet and a light for my path. God's word will light up our path. If we listen to God's word and his voice, we will get to the next step. There's no doubt he's going to illuminate that next step. That lamp is at our feet. He leads us in steps, not leaps, because that light, that lamp is illuminating right in front of us. So don't get ahead of God. Be patient. Slow down to speed up in life, in business. Seek God first. And then we can use these tools that are available for us in the world as a resource and use them for our benefit. But to seek God first. Don't get ahead of God in the next step that he has for you. He's illuminating a path with his word, with his righteousness that he wants you to take. He doesn't want you to go astray in your own way because it's not going to lead down the path that you want to be on. He will light up the path for you. So while we have all of these resources today available for us, like ChatGPT and Google and all kinds of resources that are new and up and coming and useful for our life, for business, to make things simpler, we'll never make things more simple than seeking God because He has all of the answers. He has all of the knowledge and the wisdom. He's our creator. He loves us and wants the best for our lives. And he knows what best next step we can take in our relationships, in our businesses, and in our life in order to be exactly where he wants us to be. So seek him first. Seek out God's will, God's way, and God's voice in your life before you go to the Googles and before you ask ChatGPT and before AI is all the answer for you. Do you really, really want to change your mindset and change your life? If you do, you will do this one principle. You will slow down and ask God first. This principle is imperative for mindset change. We've got to put God as the most important voice in our life. That mindset shift is exactly what we need. The idea that we can find the answer on our own is so wrong. Our ways are not God's ways. ChatGPT, Google, yeah, they have some answers. But there's insight that only our creator has for us. And if we'll seek him first and adjust our mindsets to intentionally seek the voice of God in our lives first, it will change our mindsets, and God will change our life. As always, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss an episode. If you like what you heard, I'd love to know. Leave us a review and share with a friend that could use an overcoming story so they can move closer to their purpose for their lives by renewing their mind the way God intended. Hey friends, thank you for listening. You're now done with step one of growing together at the Mindset School. Head over to the mindsetschool.net and grab my free download where I share five tips when you can't hold it together anymore. 
and continue your journey to smiling authentically from the inside out.